Well, Mackenzie, uh, welcome. Uh, the season's here. What's it been like for you so far here at UCF? Really good. Um, off to a good start. Fall was really fun with all the girls, and I'm just really excited to actually play like D1 softball. You had a lot of fans in the fall that watched you pitch. Very excited. They really enjoyed watching you. Uh, what was that fall ball like for you? You really excited, dominated, and it was very good. Yeah, it was exciting. It was um, a new experience. I had a lot of um, support, and that definitely helps calm my nerves, I think. Take, take me through the process of when you picked UCF. Uh, what was your thinking going in? Um, honestly, um, I went to my pitching coach, Casey Clark, and she asked me, like, the first lesson, she asked me where I wanted to go, and I said UCF. And so ever since then, that was kind of my goal, and she helped me reach that goal. So. Same pitching coach, uh, Allison Kime, who pitched here at UCF, also had uh, as well. So yeah, it's did. good footsteps there. Great tradition here, pitching-wise, here at UCF. Does that attract you with this stadium as well, here playing at the complex? Mm -hmm, definitely. Tell me about your teammates. They really have come, you kind of have your back already. They've, you know, for a freshman, normally they kind of, well, let's get to know this girl. But they really uh, supported you. They've been nothing but complimentary of you. That's got to mean a lot to you. Yeah, it definitely does. It's definitely um, a confidence booster as well to know that um, a team with everyone on the field from seniors to freshmen have my back. And, yeah, they, they're really welcoming. You ever pitched at Claremont before there? Um, I don't think so. Are you excited? I mean, kind of playing a Dot Richardson tournament, a legend. Uh, you got Ohio State. Uh, good competition over there. Yeah, I'm really, really excited. Um, I'm hoping that we have a good weekend and come out strong and show well for the very first weekend out. Of course, you got a player like Natalie Land playing behind you. That's going to be uh, makes life a little easier. If you talk about playing with Natalie, what a tremendous talent she is. Oh, yes, definitely. She uh, She's definitely a pitcher's best friend on the field. <laughs> I can make a mistake and feel like she has my back, so it's really nice. Tell all UCF fans one thing about you that, that you want them to know as they watch you this year. Oh, goodness. Um, I don't take myself too seriously. Um, I like to have fun, and that's one of the big things about college ball that I think people don't do is they, they're too serious, and I just I love to have fun. I'm a jokester. People, I, might, I probably shouldn't say this, but people on the team call me princess. <laughs> That's, you're not the first pitcher that's been called that in this program, actually. That's yeah, kind of but, funny. Yeah. Uh, but you're very competitive when you get on the field, though. That's one thing the players have said, that you know how to turn it. you got the game face on on game day, that you really know how to turn it on. How do you do yeah. that? Um, I don't know. Is I it just, something that just comes natural? Yeah, I guess. I don't really – I guess I just try and stay really focused and, you know, try and do my best, and that's how it comes off is I'm really focused. Do you set your? Are you the type that likes to set yourself goals, uh, individual goals? Do you have team yeah. anything that jumps out? Um, I love to stay ahead in the count. That's one of my main goals to work for because walking is always bad. So I try and stay away from that. And staying ahead in the count also helps boost your strikeout percentage. And every pitcher loves a strikeout, per, like a high strikeout percentage. Well, Mackenzie, uh, good luck this season. Thank you.